is temporary. It may last for a minute, or an hour, or a day, or even a year. But eventually, it will subside. And something else will take its place. UNLV has had five winning seasons since 1985, but it feels like a lot longer than that. You know, there's some change that needs to occur at UNLV, you know, in our football program. You know, we've got to be more consistent. All men are created equal, some work harder in preseason. We will live because one day we will become. No coach has done more during the offseason to sell the UNLV brand. I think people are energetic, they're excited about it. To be able at any moment to sacrifice what you are for what you will become. UNLV is officially on the come up. We need to build a long campus football facility. That's the most immediate need in, in, in driving this program forward. So we need help in our community stepping up and helping us do that. Um, and if the stadium gets built, we can do that. away from your first game the energy is in the air you can feel it can't you there's a renaissance going on at UNLV and you can feel it our major stories this week for college football is UNLV the largest single gift ever in the history of UNLV athletics within three years they will be a group of five favorite I'm, I'm calling it right now if we get this entire community past and present future all on the same page and driving in the right direction I know that we will win here. The new era of UNLV football, and that new era is already seeing major improvements at this time next year. The team's new $26 million training complex will take shape at the other end of the field. Well, it's great because it's not a project that you talk about like in three years from now. It's, it's a today project. UNLV is calling a $10 million donation from the Fertitta family a transformational gift. That money is being earmarked for a new 73,000 square foot training facility for UNLV football. A $10 million gift from the Fertitta family. It's the largest gift ever received by the athletic department. The money will be used to build a state-of-the-art football facility, something Coach Sanchez says will be a game changer for the program. Well, if we're going to keep score, we might as well win. That's what this community expects, and that's what this community deserves. A moment here. DJ Bagwell loose again. UNLV's got it. Here they come again. And there he goes again. There's the magic we've been waiting for. Touchdown. Here come the Rebels on first down and breaking free. That's into the secondary of the 10. The 5. Touchdown. There's a storm coming. It's called Rebels, right? He's throwing deep. How did he make that grab? He is going to take it the distance. T10-5. Touchdown, UNLV. Rebels kick off their season later tonight, believe it or not. There's been a lot of talk about a new stadium. We aspire for this university to be a top-tier university and be attractive to those Power Five conferences, and we think we can be. And we think having a world-class stadium on that, on that ground is, is a key step in that process toward being a top-tier university. Announcement tomorrow on plans for a new stadium in Las Vegas. This is going to move UNLV football to a height it's never experienced before. Adding to the growing momentum to take UNLV to the next level. $1.9 billion $1.9 billion stadium right here. UNLV football access to world-class stadium. If I were President Jessup, I'd be very pleased with what's developed here. He's got a med school, he's got the best stadium on the planet, he's well located right near all of it. Nicest stadium on the planet. It's not hard to see, the sun is shining on UNLV football. Happy days are here again. If you love UNLV and you love to go to the football games, get ready for state of the art. UNLV and the football program, they'll be playing their home games in this brand new stadium. Touchdown UNLV! Touchdown Rebels! Touchdown! Touchdown UNLV! Touchdown! 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 Touchdown, you 
UNLV. And now UNLV says, look, we've got this. Everybody's coming here. In Las Vegas is still Las Vegas. We deserve to play with the big dogs.